So today people we cover one of the more exciting weapons I came across via DLC4. It's called the Sepimator Prime and well, what we have here is basically a new Lyuda. But is that a good thing or a bad thing? How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed your stay here and would like to show your support, hit that like button truly helps out and subscribe if you like what you see and want to see more. So if you guys want this weapon, it's pretty simple. Leave a like on this video and drop a comment down below. Leave your gamer tag on the platform you play on and also what nightmare you want. I will send five people on each platform their choice of weapon, so good luck. Also people, before we go any further, for all your gaming needs, no matter the platform you play on, at amazing prices and incredible weekly deals, check out G2A, linked within that video description. So with a few new legendaries I have already obtained, I thought the first I'd share with you was this new Vladov sniper rifle. Now this, as far as I'm aware, only drops from Evil Mordecai, who spawns in with Evil Brook, location to where these can be found or showcase at the end of the video. So upon me first getting this, I thought instantly, they have gone and added a new version of the Lyuda into the game, and while well, people, that's more or less what this is. It does have a few neat tricks up its sleeve, or in my opinion, it's actually too much like the Lyuda. And I mean this, unfortunately, in a bad way. For this kind of fast firing sniper rifle, you need a particular build based around said weapon before it becomes efficient enough to warrant even using. When they originally nerfed the Lyuda, it was sad days for many. It was a great, great weapon for sure, and at the time, in my opinion, it's probably the best in the game. When I first saw this, I felt that nostalgia run through my veins, only to then use it and realise it feels just as weak. Now there are different variants of it, two times etc etc, and I've only seen it drop offering incendiary. So what are those tricks I was talking about? Well it has a second firing mode, and the mods I've come across are a shotgun, as well as like a rocket launcher. And well that's its trick. The shotgun's okay but the rocket launcher seems pretty weak, which is unfortunate. While it also does it seems to rain down those cheese balls upon killing enemies, or at least shooting enemies. A lot like the rain firestorm. These are quite potent against the right enemies but all in all not incredible. To be honest I'd probably say its second firing mode is more efficient than its sniper firing mode. It's just a shame there's a limit or a cooldown on how often you can use the shotgun side of this weapon. Now I did indeed test this with some overpowered builds, which make most weapons look great, but it was still falling quite short. Now all hope is not over, I still think things can be made good with this weapon for sure, and I do believe Gearbox will eventually buff this thing because as of right now, in my opinion it's just not good enough. Now I can see this weapon being quite good on a crit flak build or maybe even a Mara, but as an all round weapon for all Vault Hunters I just don't think it's good enough, but hey when has that ever mattered? I think Gearbox purposely put weapons in the game that are better on some Vaulters over others, which kind of makes sense and I actually like that. It just adds to the exclusivity of certain builds with certain Vault Hunters. So yeah guys, the Sepimator Prime is a new Vladov sniper rifle added into DLC 4. As far as I'm aware, its dedicated boss drop is Evil Mordecai, who spawns in with Evil Brook. Location you can see on the screen now in where you'll find these two. Now with DLC 4 being new, if you guys want to join one of the best communities out there, definitely check out my Discord, where we do open lobbies for all kinds of weapons you can imagine, including this one and many, many others others so check out my discord link within that video description but on that note guys we have come to the end of the video if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video i upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully i will see you on that next one